morning guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about an edible species, something that's accessible to both your shore anglers, to your offshore anglers, um, and even to your estuary guys. Now, the species we're talking about is the most commonly caught kingi along our KZN coast at least, and probably one of the most popular kingis caught around the world. Um, it's called the black tip kingi, otherwise known as your yellowtail kingfish. They are now known as Carinx uh, herberry. They were previously known as Carinx sep. So it is a species that's name has changed. Scientific names do change over time, just depending on all sorts of politics and things. Now, your distribution-wise, you're getting them around most of the tropical areas in the world. You've got them from the Persian Gulf all the way down into South Africa. You get them in Australia, you get them in Fiji. So it's a species that's moved around all over the world. So yeah, it's a species that's distributed around most of South Africa, um, but really more of the tropical areas. You're looking from the Eastern Cape sort of up into Mozambique. Um, but it's really rare south of KZN. So something that's really, really a northern tropical, tropical species. Now, you get them in the estuaries, but it's really going to be more the smaller individuals, so sort of say three kilos and down, and then your bigger boys you're going to find associated to uh, coral and rocky reefs offshore. So, and pinnacles, things like that, they do like aggregating together, so generally when you catch one, you catch quite a few, um, and they do get, they get riled up quite easily. So, when it comes to uh, their movements and things like that, the in one interesting thing is that the tagging data, so the, the mark recapture um, stuff that they're doing, putting the tags in, recapturing the fish, seeing how where they've moved, um, it's actually shown that they, all the species, all the ones that they have recaptured have been in the same place that they've caught them. So it, that kind of alludes to them being resident, but it could be that they move and come back to the same area, possible. So yeah, where to find them? You're looking at rocky reefs, pinnacles, and then in the estuaries, sort of in your deeper areas around baitfish. Um, and then when it comes to actually what they're eating and that kind of thing, fish are one of the, the top uh, things on the menu for them when it comes to the bigger individuals. And then your smaller guys are also going to eat smaller fish, they're going to eat squid, they're going to eat uh, crustaceans, anything really that they can get that's going to be, that they can chase down and hunt. Um, we haven't mentioned what the fish looks like, it's quite an important thing. It's very, very similar to your giant kingfish, slightly less of a steep forehead. Um, overall silvery color, sometimes with little black dots on it, um, and then obviously as the name uh, eludes, you've got yellow fins and little black tips on the tip of the dorsal and the tail, and sometimes on the others. So yeah, black tip kingy, yellow fin kingy, goes with it, yellow tail kingy. Um, yeah, the su it's really a, a summer species, yabas. Um, that's when they're most active, they're hu really hunting around. They they spawn in summer, so that's when you're going to get most of them aggregating together. That's that's why we get them mostly in summer. Now, sizing-wise, you get a fish that grows up to about a meter in length and around about sort of 15 kilos. But your average size is going to be anything from about three kilos to about, let's say, three to about eight kilos. Um, it's your average sort of size. But anything eight kilos and above is considered a very, very good fish. Um, Size-wise, yeah, as we mentioned, about a meter. Um, they are targeted by your lure anglers and by your bait anglers and by your spear fishermen. Lure wise, you're looking at anything with a nice erratic action. So, a spoon, top water, um, flies like deceivers, charlies, um, for the smaller guys at least, and then uh, clouses and things for the bigger fish. And then obviously, spears, everything eats a spear, so not really, no variation there. And bait wise, uh, live bait is a very, very good way of targeting them. Uh, they pretty much eat any, any live bait that you can get in front of them, but you really want to try and make it a little bit smaller than some of your bigger fish. They do have a big mouth, but they'll take a live bait uh, very, very quickly. They'll actually inhale it completely. Uh, in terms of handling wise, uh, normal fish rules apply. Try and keep your hand away from the gills if you're going to release it. They do have scoots on the tail, um, which are a little sharp, uh, I wouldn't say spines, but almost interlocking little scales that can cut your hand if you, if you grab them and they flex. So, Maybe wrap a wet towel around there. You don't want to do anything dry on a fish because it takes the slime off. So a wet towel around there will help you handle it. Um, otherwise, if you are going to release them, try and keep them in the water or take a quick pick and can go. But yeah, the black tip kingy, uh, very prominent species and uh, something you can really put on the list to, to target if you're a lure angler, fly angler, 
uh, bait angler or even offshore. Cheers guys.